Hello, I am your host, Kimberly McLemore, uh, and welcome to another episode of 360 and Me. Today we have a and special guest on this next sex to me, Miss uh, Natalie Montez, and then we have a real special guest, Miss Jean Bogowski, who is going to be hanging out with us today and talking about some of her uh, great things. Uh, she's the owner of the Freedom Keys and is a love, pleasure, and intimacy coach. Mm. So, you know, that means we're going to have some good stuff to talk about today, right? And normally, like I said, we don't always do a special holiday show, but I really wanted to have an opportunity to talk about some things that we may be doing for Black Friday uh, that we normally wouldn't do. And of course, any other Christmas deals that we're going to be focusing on today. But before we get started, I'm going to let these ladies do a quick brief uh, introduction of themselves and then we'll get we'll get going from there all right so Natalie you know I'm gonna let you do a quick brief and then we're gonna let Jean jump right on in so she can get her story told okay sounds great I'm so happy to be here and I'm always happy to do another show with Kimberly welcome Jen it's so good to have you here and to see you again you're like my old friend in Chicago so it's always good that we could still keep in touch virtually um, I am the owner of the Vino by Montez which is a wine tasting business that I created years ago and I am also a health and wellness guide with Arbonne International. So today I'll be featuring um, products from Arbonne and talking a little bit about what it means for me to be um, a health and wellness guide. So that's a little bit about me. All right, great. Thank you so much again, Natalie, as usual. But Jean, I cannot, or Janet cannot wait to dive in this conversation with you. And we're gonna be talking more in the future too, but you know, when it's, we talk about passion and femininity, that's something that a lot of people talk about with inside closed doors you know they don't want to talk about outside their friends but then again we are getting more bolder we, we don't care about what other people think and we are feminine and it's okay to have that so why don't you tell us a little bit more about who you are and then talk a little bit about your books and all the things you got going on with you First of all, thank you so much for having me here. Yes, my name is Jen Bogaiski, and I am the founder of a business called The Freedom Keys. Um, I am a love, pleasure, and intimacy coach. And my focus is really on teaching women how to get out of their heads and connect with our bodies. Um, it really is all about sensuality, desire, aliveness. Right? You mentioned that passion and the fact that so many of us want to talk about this topic but yet don't want anybody else to know we're talking about it. But it is so critical and important to who we are as a women. I think that um, unfortunately in today's patriarchal society, we haven't been taught what it means to be a woman and how to mm. love ourselves and our bodies. So there's so much objectification around um, from a societal, religious, cultural perspective, right? That's actually, you mentioned the book series. I have a six book series. Here, here's book, book number one. Um, it's called The Good Girl, but it's all about the social, cultural, religious conditioning that has held us back from our sexual freedom. But sexual freedom doesn't necessarily just mean sex. It means, right. what does it mean to be a woman from head to toe in all of the parts in between and i really truly mm -hmm. feel that the way for us to heal as women is to learn how to love connect with honor adore and cherish the physical female bodies that we're in and love every single part of us i actually even wrote a post this morning i had an event at my place last night and it truly is, so many women want to lose weight, flatten their tummies, tighten their butts, you know, get rid of the cellulite on their thighs, which is all mm -hmm. great, but mm -hmm. that's not really what we're looking for on the inside. Like, we really want to truly love every piece of who we are. And if we hide from our sexuality as women, we're not fully embracing the mm -hmm. depths truths of who we are so my goal is to really create a safe space for women to be curious to open right. up and tap into what does that mean when i started this journey years ago i didn't know what i was doing right so my goal is to create a pathway for women to step into that and to know that we're not alone and mm -hmm. um that there are ways that you can 
really truly tap into your feminine energy to help you not just in what some might think is your you know sex life or your life with your you know partner right your feminine energy actually creates your desire your aliveness which will impact every other aspect of your life so it will impact your relationships with your children you will be a better mother you will be a better daughter you will be a better sister you will be a better business woman mm -hmm. in general so mm -hmm. it's really all about how this power can help you live a lit up life I right love i so love it much. too i love it too i, I want to ask so you, you talk about this has been a life you know, journey a long journey for you what made you decide to step up and say hey I need to share this with the world. You know, women are constantly, you know, we're being beat up by society every day. You know, we got all these things that are, and everybody telling us what we can and cannot do and how we're supposed to love our bodies. And, and, you know, it's just frustrating to, you know, to get up every day some days and be a woman. So what made you decide that this is where you wanted to go? This is the direction that you need to do to get everybody else involved. Okay, the short end of the story is <laughs> on my 40th birthday, I claimed mm -hmm. in front of um, 15 couples, my ex-husband and I were part of a marriage encounter community, and I wanted to have a better marriage than my parents, right? I wanted that closeness, that intimacy, that connection with my partner. And the following day, I went to confession and said, God, come into the center of my marriage. And he showed me a sex dream. And I thought, what are you doing, God? This is like ridiculous. Like really, like I'm, I'm asking you to come into my marriage and you show me another woman dancing in green lingerie for my husband. Like really, like this makes no sense. <laughs> right? And I was in a group program at the time and um, the women were like, well, who was the woman in the dream? I'm like, oh my God, she's a mom on the hockey team. She was gorgeous. She was put together. She had hair, nails, clothes, purse. Like, you name it, she was the epitome of what I thought a woman was. And they said, well, look closely at the woman. And I was like, yeah, I know who she is. And they're like, no, it's you. What are you hiding from? Wow. And it was at that moment that I just stopped and went, okay, this is interesting. Right? I asked God to come into the center of my marriage. And now he shows me this. And I'm like, okay, this is bigger than my marriage. Yes. My ultimate goal for starting was I wanted better intimacy, connection with him. But the message I got from God was you need to learn how to love yourself first. You need to know why you didn't think you were beautiful, sexy, gorgeous, whatever. So that started me on this healing journey of why did I not think I was beautiful, sexy and gorgeous? Mm -hmm. And um, so I went through this journey of healing sexual trauma and just understanding why did I not love my body? Because I think most women don't love their bodies, let's right. face it. Right? Right. Like even the people who say they love their bodies don't love something about their body, right? right. Mm -hmm. And I was on a retreat and I felt my body for the very first time. And it was crazy. I mean, it was one of those where I literally, you know, would just like felt my skin and was like, mm -hmm. oh my God, I, I actually have a body. Like, because we walk around like zombies, like we're numb. Mm -hmm. But right. in that moment, when I physically felt my body for the first time, I remember being in circle at the end of this retreat. And at that point I was a nutrition coach. Like I was teaching moms to teach their kids to be healthier. That's what I thought I was meant to do. And in that moment, I'm like, no, my mission is bigger than that. I'm like, I am meant to help teach women how to love and connect with their bodies. And this was almost nine years ago when this actually happened. So I claim wow. in front of you know, the 12 women that were in this retreat that I had a new mission in life and it was to teach women how to connect with their bodies. But at that point, it was just a seed God had planted in my head. I didn't really know what it was mm -hmm. going to be. So mm -hmm. for the past almost decade, I have been studying, experiencing, taking courses, working with mentors, you name it, on how to heal these, I'll call them body traumas, right? Like, cause it's not all about sex. Some of it is about 
sex, sexuality, but it's the way we look at our female body right, and right. hold the beliefs that are around it and how we block ourselves. Because the truth mm -hmm. of the matter is, every trauma, no matter what it is, that happens to us is stored in our bodies. Mm -hmm. so if we as women don't know how to lovingly connect Mm -hmm. with the body, it's hard for us to shift those limiting beliefs that are getting in our way mm -hmm. in order for us to transform. Mm -hmm. So it's like you have to be in a place where you can feel safe in your physical body yeah. so that you can then do the healing that is required to dive into that. So that has been um, where I started from. Okay, right. Yeah. And, and it makes sense, you know, that the what you're saying is that, you know, I think a big part of it is, is how our foundation has been for all our lives. You know, yes. we don't, I don't remember sitting down and hearing and, you know, my mother and I are very close. I talked to my parents every day, but I do not remember ever hearing the suggestions of what it is that you need to have to love yourself as a woman. And as you grow into your womanhood, it's always easier to talk to the males about what it is they, they need to have or how they should be. But when it comes down to being a woman, it's almost like it, it's the situation of, oh, you know, it's taboo. You know, right. you don't want to talk about this is private. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. your bodies are private. But then, you know, as we continue to grow, we all know our bodies change. You're, I'm not that teenager I was where I had that perfection, so to speak. In my mind, that's what I would look at as perfection, right? Then as we get old, we, you know, we go through things and we see each other and we see ourselves. And I looked in the mirror this morning, I was thinking, Lord, have mercy. I work every day at this, but nothing ever seems to change. But that's my opinion, right? And I've learned, mm -hmm. I've had to learn to live with the scars. I've learned to live with the trauma that my body has gone through. And then I think on the other side of that is, um, I think kind of what you're talking about is the fact of how do you, how do you get it where everybody else can, you learns to accept it? Accept just who you are. So once, you know, you it's like you build yourself up just to be torn down. How do you teach women to get, uh, you know, kind of get out of that, that motion of, that up and down roller coaster ride that we're taking all the time because we may look at ourselves every day and be like, you know, girl, I get up every morning, I am gorgeous as all get out. But then somebody is constantly this, you know, beating you down, and then you go right back down to that plateau. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, you've said a couple of different things I want to address. I mean, one of them was in regards to the fact that um, like we we store these traumas in our body and sometimes we we kind of forget that something happened and we push it off to the side and we just say it's okay like i've dealt with it mm -hmm. but the truth of the matter is most of the time we have not dealt with it mm -hmm. we say we have accepted it but we really haven't truly felt it and an, an example that I'll use is I was raped and pregnant at 16 and I ended up having a miscarriage. And because of that, part of me like just brushed it away because nobody had to know, right? It was kind of yep. one of those, okay, I've accepted it, I've moved on, right? But that experience formed my life and the types of relationships that I allowed myself to be in because of it. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until I started doing some of this healing work that I was able to shift how I felt about myself and my body to actually feel some of those feelings that I never allowed myself to feel. So it's interesting because we have this um, idea that yes, we need to love and accept ourselves, which is great. Mm -hmm. But when you bury the real raw feelings, we do ourselves a disservice. Um, so the the key though to this, so that was you know, one of your second questions was, well, how do you do that? Like the first thing is you have to want to heal. Like it, there are so many people that follow me and they ask me questions and whatever. And the truth of the matter is you have to say, yes, I want to heal this. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't, you won't do the work that's required. It's not magic, it's not science, right? Like, in, and I don't wanna say that it's hard work. I don't like saying anything is hard work, mm -hmm. but there is 
there's effort and intention that goes along with it. And when you have buried shit inside of you, the reason that it's buried is because your body and your brain has buried it, right? There are many people who have buried memories that they don't even know are still there. Right. So what happens, you have to allow yourself to feel. And that's a scary place to be, right? If you've had some kind of trauma and you have to allow yourself to feel it and release it, Mm -hmm. that's scary. It's not hard. It's hard from the perspective of, oh crap, I gotta feel this crummy thing. Right. Mm -hmm. Allowing yourself to feel it And once you feel it, you can release it. But as Mm -hmm. long as it stays inside the body, you cannot um, affirm it out of your body. You can't say over and over again, something in your head that's gonna allow something to release in your body. Like Mm -hmm. I actually work with um, a couple of mentors. One is Layla Martin. She has an institute of um, tantric sacred sexuality and I'm in her love, sex and relationship coaching certification program. And there's neuroscience behind this, right? Mm -hmm. It's a combination of mind and body connection. You you have to get into the body in order to create that lasting transformation. So the key is twofold. It's one, you deciding that you're ready to heal and you want to do the work. And then the second thing is allowing yourself to be in a safe space. And a safe space can be a multitude of things. It can be the environment, the room that you're in, right? And there's lots of things I could share, you know, in another topic about how do you create a safe environment, like just in your bedroom or your living room or wherever you want to to do that, right? I mean, this is why as women, when we think of romance and intimacy, we want candles and we want chocolates (laughs) and we want romance. And we want all of that. Why? It's the environment. Right, yeah. right, it allows right. allows us to feel safe. safe. I mean, if you really, exactly. truly think of it, it is sensory. As women, we are sensory beings. We want all of our senses to be ignited. It's not just about the physical touch. It's about our entire body feeling comfortable. So if you've got a woman who's got kids, and her kids are in the other room and whatever, and she's worried about them, like she can't enjoy herself. Right. Because her environment is not, does not feel safe. Now right. it's not an excuse to not do something about it, but a lot of times women are in our heads. We're in our heads all the time. Whether it is during sexual you know, encounters or outside of it. We're mm-hmm. always racing, running, not necessarily being present in the moment. So one of the things that I do is to help create a safe, sacred space. It's Mm -hmm. one of the things that people have said to me, like I have group programs. I mean, I had eight women come to my house last night for sacred space. It's like, I don't want to say I don't know what it is about me, but it's like I can hold space for women right because what we need is someone to hold that space witness us to allow us to feel safe and when you can feel safe you can then open up to allow yourself to feel whatever it is that you need to feel all right yeah love it love it thank you so much do you have any questions it's so real i was just gonna say how amazing um, learning from you is and the perspective that really like makes me think about myself and gives language to things I've experienced, you know, things that I want to, where I want to be, you know, and I have the um, awesome honor and privilege of actually being in Jen's um, chakra dance program right now. Mm-hmm. And it has really opened, enlightened me and opened up sort of like a light in giving me the space, Mm -hmm. giving me almost like the permission, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? To acknowledge um, my femininity and be able to like push past the boundaries I've set for myself. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I think 
is important in all of the in this whole conversation and what you're saying Jen is that we can relearn or learn for the first time how to be feminine but in an authentic way because we right. can tend to right. put on a hat oh in this moment I have to be a wife or in this moment I have to be a mom in this moment I need to be intimate and you put on these hats but it, it doesn't run deep it's not authentic and so how can I put you know pull back a little bit and start to take these steps for myself first and not for others and be authentic in my femininity and then pour out that way, you know? And so I think more so than a question is more just, I wanted to kind of comment on that and just, you know, that's so beautiful. It's so beautiful what you have to say about the whole topic. And, and I mean, I feel like all of us women need to really take this into consideration right. and learn Absolutely. from you and really like bring this as a practice into our lives. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Right, right. And I and I think that, you know, what uh, Jen's been saying, I think every woman experiences it, but we just don't know how to deal with it. Yes. And that's the key. And having someone like you who who's taken this leadership role of, hey, I'm going to do this because I, I needed it for myself. But now um, I realize it's not just about me. And that there is profound. It's amazing. And, you know, it's something that I said that I think that all of us need to go through. We just don't do it and don't know how to handle it. Even then, we, like we were saying earlier, that we stepped into it, but then we stepped back because we think we've healed and we think we've done it all. And the reality is, you're right. It's still stuck down there because as soon as you get a trigger of something, it immediately comes back because it was never really dealt with. So, you know, uh, I, I definitely agree 100% because, you know, I've been through enough dramatic stuff on my own to realize that there's there's always constant work in order to continue to love myself, in order to realize that, you know, I am beautiful beyond. It's not about the looks. It's everything that's all within that, within deep of you, the passionate side of you, all of those things, you know, that have been somewhat taken away through the trauma that you go through in life. And then, you know, it's, it's funny how people will say to you, oh, just, you'll be fine, you know, just keep moving on. There's really nothing else you can do. You've done your part and not, but they don't understand who you are, mm -hmm. you know? And so I think that having a program like yours is really gonna be beneficial. I have not had the opportunity to dive into that, but I'm gonna have to definitely talk more with you. because I'm like, mm, this, sounds, yes. this sounds really, really good. And, and, and it's about me, you know, and that's the key. I, I've, I've been spending my last probably 10 years just trying to learn to focus on me. And it's always the hardest thing because as women as a whole, we're constantly focusing on everybody else but ourselves. And like you said, you know, just push that trauma away and just move it on. Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. You said something in that one of your last statements was it's, it's bigger than you. And that's the key. Like when I first started this work, I can remember people saying, oh my gosh, you're so focused on you. You're so selfish and that kind of a thing. But what I can say is when I struggled initially with diving into this work and I didn't feel safe, mm -hmm. Right. And and I was scared to, to go deeper. Um, one of my coaches said to me, Jen, like, who do you need to bring in? What spirit guides, angels, you know, past loved ones do you need to bring in to help you feel safe? Right. And I thought about an aunt who had passed away. And what she said to me, she had four children and I have four children. And she mm -hmm. said, Jen, if you can't do this for yourself, do it for your children. And it was at that moment that my my body, my spirit allowed myself to come into my body to mm -hmm. heal. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just for me. Like I was, what seemed to the outside world was I was doing it for me. And yes, I was, but my deeper motivation in doing it was for my children for my children's children, for the betterment of humanity. Because when I heal, I help heal my children. I help heal my parents. This is a whole other story we could talk about me and my mother in the healing that my mother, she's 71, has experienced because of my deep healing work. Right? Wow. It's amazing. So, so many of us as moms, if there are moms listening out there, we so badly want to help our children. 
the best thing we can do for them is to heal ourselves. Stop focusing on them. Let them be independent. Let them learn on their own. Stop enabling, fixing, rescuing, and rescue yourself. Amen. That Say it. Is, that is what is going Say it to again. Say that again. Yes. Yes. Like, yes. I mean, seriously, I have seen my children grow when I grow, right? And, and that's a whole other episode in itself too, right? It's kind of one of those, we think that we need to help our children, that we do that because we don't know how to help ourselves. Our children are our reflections of us. And so many yep. times I will look at the challenges of my children and go, what is this mirroring back to me? What is the lesson I need to learn in this here, as opposed to how can I help my son? And it's amazing what I find when I then dive deeper into that work. And then when my energy shifts, their energy shifts too. So when you can allow yourself to be in a space of doing that healing work, no matter how you do it, um, it's amazing. And, and now I just want to say, you know, you mentioned the whole chakra dance program, right? Like that is, I, I love that program. And it is one, I'll call it modality, one tool, right? That can be used for women to dive into this, right? And this is one of the things that I'm actually offering, you know, from a Black Friday special perspective. I know you kind of wanted to get into some of that too, right? Yeah. Like I actually have a, I, I run it as a four month program because there's there's seven chakras, right? But right. sometimes when we're doing the healing work, like we don't want to put pressure on ourselves. We want to give ourselves time. So I do one chakra every other week, right? So it gives us time to do an integration. Um, so I'm actually offering that the prices are actually being raised for next January when I offer the next one. So um, it's going to be a thousand dollars, but from a Black Friday special, I'm offering it for four ninety nine. Um, so if people are interested in signing up for this program, um, and Ayla, I need to make sure I get some testimonials from you as well too. I need to reach out to the other women, right? Because it's so transformative, and you've just seen the beginning of it, right? Like this is just the start of the journey. There's so much more that you can add to it, but this is a great place that someone can start if they don't know where to start. And there's this foundation that is available that you can use as a tool to help get you started till you're ready to dive into, you know, one of my higher ticket programs, right? Mm -hmm. Which is more in-depth, intensive, when someone is ready to start really diving into the work. Yeah, I think that's going to be a great deal for for our listeners out there um, if they want to jump in and give this a shot to get their mm -hmm. healing their their healing work to the next level. You know, mm -hmm. it's just a you know I've done different kinds of therapy like couch therapy and also like trauma therapy, mm -hmm. and I felt like this was the next step to really start to move my body through the healing process and through some of the traumas as well. So great, great deal. Yeah, right. the body well, is key. Yeah. 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 I agree with that. All right. Well, you know, uh, Jen, we had, I, I look, I've been, I didn't want to stop talking because this has been so good. I know, I know. It's just so good. I was like, oh, we got to, we got to get a cutting point here. So I'm going to make this a cutting point. But I would like for you to do, Please, you know, talk more about your Black Friday deals or if you have any more holiday uh, Christmas deals coming up that you would like to share with the viewers so we can then move on to Miss Natalie over here so she can talk about her uh, yeah. deals. And yep, absolutely. So, uh, and I don't know if you'll have show notes or links or, you know, that kind of absolutely. thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Gotcha. If someone is interested in the Chakra Dance program, like I said, it's going to be offered for $4.99 or four payments of $149. This will be the last time it will be offered at this price. Um, and I can send the link um, and people can just sign up right online. Or if they have questions, they can reach out to me. Um, the other thing that I do have are my book series. You'll see, I have a six book series. Um, I have The Good Girl, The Inquisitive. This is about sexuality. This is about desire. 
And my latest, The Goddess, I just got a copy of it yesterday. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, and um, there's three more that are going to be coming out throughout the rest of the year. Typically, each of these books are $25 a piece. But what I'm going to be doing is offering a Black Friday special that if someone wants to purchase all six of them right now, it's kind of like you'll get three of them. And then the other three will actually come as they're actually printed. So okay. normally the cost for each one, if you bought them individually, would be 150 bucks. Um, but if you purchase all of them now, it's a hundred dollars. You'll get three of them right now. And oh. then, um, you know, obviously I'll get your name information, whatever, so that when the next ones come out, I'll go ahead and send those out to you. Ooh, so that right. if doesn't want to do a program, but wants to start with a book, it's a great way to go ahead and get started. Okay, awesome. So yeah, so we'll definitely make sure that uh, we'll reach back out to you and get all the information so we can share yep. on all of our platforms. Uh, because so, how long are you going to be doing the Black Friday deals? Are just going to be till Friday? Are you going to be doing the whole weekend, or how are you going to be? Yeah. All right. Great. Awesome. Wow. Wow. Jen, thank you so much for sharing with us today. I mean. Like I said, we could keep talking and you and I are definitely going to be talking again because this conversation has to continue on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have a too. Did you know that? Say that again. I said I have a podcast that you can listen to as well, too. Yes. Yes, I do know. Yes. So and you can definitely um, why don't you talk real quickly about the name of your podcast show. The name of my podcast is called The Sensual Feminine Life, and you can find me on um Apple iTunes or Spotify. Um, but new episodes come out every week and we can obviously talk more. You, you can come on my show. We'll talk, you know, all sorts of good things. But um, if anybody wants to just hear and listen more, you could just tune into that. All right. Yes. Great. Again, thank you. It is, this has been wonderful. Doing and, big things, Jen. Yes. Doing big things, girl. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yes, appreciate it. And I definitely appreciate you coming on and spending time with us. And I, I know we've kept you on here much longer than anticipated. So, no worries. And I apologize for that. It's been some technical difficulties trying to get yeah, another guest fun. on. It's all good. But, yeah. Yes, but thank you so much. So if you like, I mean, you're more than welcome to stay on and listen to Miss Natalie and I. Otherwise, you can uh, uh, dial off and move on with the rest of your day. And we'll continue on with the rest of the show. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you so much, Jen. All right. Welcome back to part two of the special 316 Me holiday episode. Um, it, look, it's been a crazy. It's, <laughs> it has oh. been a crazy morning. We've had all types of glitch. You know, technology is what it is. It either is going to work or it's not going to work. Or you yep. have people who are totally technically One of challenged. One going to have to have bloopers. On right. the show. <laughs> We've had enough bloopers on this one to last a lot of time. Can't believe we actually got them this far. But what we are going to do again, we want to thank our special guest, Jen Bogowski. If I'm saying Bogowski. Bogowski. Yes. I, I will, Jen, forgive me, I will get your name right one of these days. But we want to thank her. She was phenomenal on the show. We actually started to talk so much more um, than what we had originally uh, was thinking about doing, but it was just too good to, to put it down and to stop it. And again, just a reminder, Jen is a love, pleasure, intimacy coach, and she has some great deals, uh, Black Friday deals that she has available that we will keep, we will put in the show notes, um, as well as on all the social media platforms as we're um, going through and sharing this uh, video from the day and all the information that we talked about. It, it was just a great, great conversation. But now we're going to move on to the second part, like I said, of this 360 and me house. But again, if you don't remember who I am, my name is Kimberly McLemore and I am the host. I've got my great co-host and we, Miss Natalie Marquez and I, we are going to be talking about some of the things that we wanted to share with you all um, for this special show and some of the deals that we have. So Natalie, I'm gonna let you dive right on in, my darling. Thank you. And go ahead and get things rocking and rolling Absolutely. about uh, the Arbonne products. And again, you know, hey, tell us a little bit more too about your um, 
wine business as well. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Again, Kimberly, thank you so much. I always love having the conversation with you. And I especially appreciate you bringing the show on the road and joining me in my house. Um, so we've gotten to do, um, record this show here in my house. So that's been really fun. Yeah, yeah, um, right. So I am Natalie Montez, as Kimberly said. I have a business called Divino by Montez, where I share all things, my love of wine, um, wine tasting, consulting, investing, all the things you can think of, topics about wine and how I can bring it to you down at our level, um, going to stores and understanding wine and all those things. And I am also a health and wellness guide with Arbonne International. So I um, basically um, am a business um, uh, owner with Arbonne and I bring you vegan, 100% um, uh, natural products, um, they're gluten-free, and one of the best things about this com company, Kimberly, mm -hmm. is that they are B-certified. B-certified just means, in a short definition, that they are environment and people before profit. Okay. So it is important, as it, it's just as important um, to know who you're buying your products from as it is to read the labels of the products you're using. Mm -hmm. So I love the fact that I can put, you know, for my whole family, put onto my skin and into my body, um, products that are 100% vegan. And so we um, span the gamut of nutrition, skincare, beauty, and body care. So today I am offering an awesome Black Friday deal, which I love to do. All of us small business owners love when we can yes. offer our communities exactly. deals. And Black exactly. Friday is a great place to start for the holidays. So Arbonne has a signature um, spa care line called Rescue and Renew. It's gorgeous. Everyone, I mean, this is men can use this as well. It's not just for the ladies, but ladies. This beautiful product, it starts with um, the Rescue and Renew, Renew Detox Body Oil. I put this in my bath, I put mm -hmm. it on my skin. It's aromatherapy to the next degree and it feels great on your body. It's smooth, it's silky, it's delicious. I mean, for your skin. <laughs> Don't drink it. I said, watch out now. Watch out, delicious, okay? She's using, she's using the grown, this is a grown folk conversation, right. okay? Right. So for those who don't understand, I'm just telling you now, okay? That's right. Um, this spa line also comes with, um, it's very hard to see, but I will make sure that we link this in the show notes um, so that you guys know where to go to find it. Um, <clears throat> this is a Rescue and Renew mask. So it's a face mask. You can use it on your feet, your elbows, all those places that tend to um, over dry or dry out during the winter months. Um, so this is fabulous for that. And then also, I ran out of this product, so I put it nice and neat on a card for you guys, but this is the body scrub. <laughs> And let me tell you, when it comes to exfoliation for your entire body while you're in the bathtub, this skin, this um, makes your skin feel amazing afterwards. So there's more products that come with this body line or uh, rescue the spa line, but um, I can link that also. But these are the main three that are must-haves um, for your spa treatment, your special you know holiday treatment of taking care of yourself, as well as gifting to other people. So that is going to be a special deal that I'm giving to you guys, our audience, for my consultant discount of 35% off. Whoa. Yes, 35% off. You guys are getting the VIP treatment uh -oh. here. Uh -oh. So reach out to me for Black Friday, the full day, 24 hours. I may extend it through the weekend depending on how much, how many people I'm getting. If I'm getting a lot, then I may go ahead and extend that. Okay. But. Um, for the 24 hours of Black Friday, reach out to me and I will help you get this on order at my discount um, so that this will take you through the entire um, holiday season. All right. Yeah. All right. Perfect. All right. So that is excellent. Thank you so much about mm -hmm. sharing that because for those who don't know anything about Arbonne, I have had the opportunity to at least use some of the few items that you have, um, especially the drink items and the things that, that tear up your gut, you know, things you need, <laughs> you need to repair you need your to, gut. Yes. You need to repair. When I traveled a lot, uh, I was always on the road, so being able to have the opportunity to uh, keep myself, you know, in place and keep my gut in order, because you know, when you're on the road, you're constantly eating things that you shouldn't be eating. Yes. You know, you don't have the same regimen as you would when you're at home, right? So 
uh, you know, I've, I've been lucky enough to be a part of that little wagon um, that <laughs> Natalie is, you know, has put out there. Yeah. And, but they do have a lot more products. So please, uh, hey, check us out. Check her out, should I say, <laughs> um, with the Armand products because we have, that's a heck of a good deal oh, for yeah. Black Friday. We have 35% off. So like you she said, you're getting the VIP uh, scenario over here that you're not going to get every day. Um, so also, you have a great one. Business. I so do. Tell us a little bit more about the Vino by Montez. All right, so the Vino by Montez is my special, special um, uh, business venture that <clears throat> basically takes my passion and brings it to my customers, my clients, my friends, my family, and everyone. So I'm, I can come into your home and do a wine tasting. I've done many of those. They've been hit events. Um, I also um, will be starting a new um, series, a YouTube series coming out soon. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I should divulge too much, keep it a secret. Hey, look, you know, we've um, been divulging for the last couple. This is our, uh, if you have not been paying attention, everybody, that we had a fantastic pre-Thanksgiving video that we just did here recently. Mm -hmm. So you need to go out and check them out on both of our YouTube channels. And she'll tell you more about her YouTube channel because I'm telling you, there's some great information in there. We talk and dive deeply into three different wines that Natalie talks about. We talk about meals that we actually prepared right there during the video. So, oh, look, you guys. I'm enjoying one of them right now. <laughs> yeah, she started, she started early, okay? I had a chance to get my Pinot Noir grape in a rose. Mm -hmm. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. So, yeah, so go ahead, I'm sorry. Go ahead and tell a little bit more. Yeah, so um, I will be starting a YouTube channel which will be sort of vlogging um, my wine experience and adventures um, going forward called Extending the Vine, so look out for that. Um, but ultimately, um, we're gonna talk about wine investing, we're gonna talk about mm -hmm. um, consulting, um, how can I help you get perfect wine sets into your home, perfect gifts for every occasion, um, for different people, um, recommending wines to you, pairing wines with your mm -hmm. meals or mm -hmm. special occasions, things like that. Exactly. So basically I will be, you know, kind of putting this together in a, in a platform as well as a, a well-rounded package for you, our listeners, for our customers, um, where you can contact me and also listen and learn more about wine. Wine can be so intimidating out there. Right. It's, I mean, even just in the grocery store, it sees the aisles of wine, and it's like, where do I even begin? So I can I can come alongside you and help you um, on that path, as well as learn, expand, and learn about what wineries are um, uh, showcasing in their in their uh, tasting rooms, and then beyond that, um, internationally. So we can talk about where wines are grown, why the grapes are the way they are, how they are bottled, why they taste the way they do. What is your wine personality, your wine profile, your wine palette? How do you taste wine? What is the tool you use to drink your wine? Mm -hmm. So all of those things are basically what I do in, in Divino by Montez. Yeah, well, yeah, you heard it from the expert over here. Uh, there's so that basically what it boils down to there's so much more to than just drinking the wine. And this expert over here can tell you all about. It. Believe me, I've been around Natalie for many, many years, and I've always been so intrigued by the fact that it, you know it's not about just even smelling it, but be able to tell you what's in it, where it comes from, all of that. That's that's knowledge. Okay, that's not that's not that I don't have. I enjoy drinking it. But, <laughs> Like the other side of it is, is definitely something that I don't get into, but you know, like she said, definitely get prepared and get ready to hear about extending the vine um, on her new uh, YouTube channel, The Vino by Montez, is coming soon. Also, be looking forward to the fact that we are going to be out in the coming soon and, and, and next year. You'll see us out more and about talking about wine, going and visit Cosme Napa Valley and a few other places just so you can get a better understanding of what we see, how we visualize, and then the investing side of it. We're doing some things that I'm not gonna share right now, but we will definitely be sharing in the new year with all of you because life is more than just doing um, simple investments. We're gonna be talking about some other major things that we think um, are gonna be amazing for people to learn about. And it's another opportunity, um, of another flow of income that will come to you as well um, down the road. So. Anyway, you know, Nally, anything else would you like to share? No, I think that's it, but I am so excited to hear what you have to offer <laughs> our guests. So, okay, on to me. And this will be like two seconds, you guys. <laughs> take it so, back, take it back. So, for
for for those um, who don't really know anything about me and you're still learning, uh, I am the CEO of the Women's Small Business Initiative LLC. We are a small uh, business uh, consulting firm and as well as a project management uh, consulting firm. And so beyond that, uh, as you can see, I have uh, the 360 Me show. But the, one of the biggest things I have is the podcast show that I have called Your Resource for Success Podcast, which is on all major media platforms. We have interviewed more than 250 people and continuing to go strong. Um, it's, some, it's something that I really, truly love and enjoy because what my business is about and this company is all about your resource for success, which is sharing information, ensuring that the people who are coming into business really, truly understand that they can learn it without having to feel like you got to go broke in order to do it and to give yourself profound business and, and being successful by learning from all those who are already doing. We're teaching you things that you don't need to reinvent the wheel on. And for the other part of me that you may not know is that I am an author. I am an award-winning author. And so um, I've been writing now since, gosh, I guess since about 2006, seven or eight is when I came out with my first book in 2008, but I started writing prior to that. And um, today, one of my major black Friday specials are going to be, da -da 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 -da, drum roll. I have three amazing books here that you will be able to get copies of, signed, sealed, and delivered. Let me say this again, not one, not two, but three, three amazing books. That's awesome for $25. Wow. That is going to include all of your shipping fees. It's all three books for $25. Normally, each one of these books range between $10 to $25 a piece. So you are getting a steal. This deal will be going on all the way for starting from Thanksgiving Day, and I'm gonna go all the way through Black Friday. So I will put it on all, of course, we'll have all the information through the show notes. Again, you will get signed autographed copies of all three of these books for the price of $25. And that includes your shipping fee, so you don't have to worry about getting charged anything extra. Um, each one of these books has something very significant. If you're looking to improve in um, your self-awareness of who you are and what you want to do, one of the books, of course, is uh, My True Story, a uh, close true story about domestic violence, but it also gives you an understanding of how to move forward outside of domestic being abused um, through domestic violence and, and not looking at yourself as constantly just being uh, somebody who is stuck in that mode of life. So there's so many things that you can do uh, with your life, and I'm trying to teach people that there's more to you than just being an uh, being abused person and that there's other things here in these other books of learning how to live and stop just existing and then of course how to be in excess by just being you so please you know we really appreciate your support and everything that we do um, that you know we would be able to stay in business if we want to support people so again we hope that you have all enjoyed the first part of our show with jen where we really dive into our femininity and then of course we have again my lovely co-host and my good friend, uh, Miss Natalie Montez, where she's talking about her uh, business in wine and of course her Arbonne, which is a wellness um, business for not just women, but that's who we like to focus on. If you enjoy this special episode of 360 and Me, follow me on our YouTube channel and you can please subscribe, watch and like and share. I'm at uh, YouTube and at WSBILLC. Real easy to find. If you can't find me there, you can also go directly to the website at www.wsbilc.com. But again, I can't wait to see you all. Take care. Take care.